Hi, this is Pierina with Fight Clinic, hanging today with Daniel The Rock Dawson, back in action. Hell yeah, Daniel The Rock Dawson, baby. Rock's ready to smash. Daniel, what have you been up to for the last eight years? Okay, so the last eight years uh, has been really all about boxing to me. Uh, since I left Muay Thai, uh, I was really went on that road um, to, get a, to get a world title in boxing, also to improve my boxing skills uh, as, as, a, as a fighter. You know, I wanted to be a well-rounded fighter, and boxing, I felt, was the thing I really needed to improve on the most. And really spent that time in boxing and won a world title in 2014 and, and uh, you know, achieved that goal of winning a world title in boxing, and that's pretty much where I've been really committed to the boxing over the last eight years. That's awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Why return to Muay Thai? Yeah, the, the comeback to Muay Thai was, um, for me, was just after achieving that world title in boxing, was just about uh, coming back to what I love doing. And, and I, started, I started in Muay Thai as a sport. It was something I fell in love with. And uh, it, you know, it, gave me, it gave me a life away from you know, some tough, uh, tough upbringing that I had. And it was incredible, incredible for me. And to be able to come back to it now is like I'm, I'm over the moon, just more excited than ever to be able to come back to a sport, the best sport in the world, the sport that I love, yeah. 100%, yeah. How has training changed now compared to eight years ago? Training for me now, it has changed a lot now coming back into Muay Thai. I've taken a lot of what I've learned from boxing, uh, mainly the strength and conditioning areas. Uh, I still keep a lot of the Muay Thai aspects from uh, when I first started, but it's, it's mainly my strength and conditioning, uh, being more powerful, being more fluid in my movement, uh, and changing up a little bit of... Um, CrossFit, a little bit of mobility work, a little bit of yoga, and adding that into um, into my Muay Thai background now, as as uh, as with everything else from the old school days as well. Yeah. Would you have returned to Muay Thai for anyone besides John Wayne Park? Uh, yeah, yes, definitely. My my answer is um, I pretty much started Muay Thai training this year with the intent on getting my body in the best physical shape possible to make my return to Muay Thai, regardless of who I was fighting. It just so happened as I was doing that in the process of getting in shape that um, the opportunity came up to fight John Wayne Parr and um, that's, that's just a dream match for me. Um, we fought twice, one, one each already. Uh, I, I still consider him as one of the best ever Muay Thai fighters from Australia uh, and, and may still be one of the best ever, you know. So to me that's a dream match. Um, yeah, a, a fight and, and a win against John Wayne Parr is um, really exciting for me, definitely. Do you think your boxing experience will be a factor in your next fight? Yes, definitely. Um, I, yeah, the boxing at the level that I was competing, world title level over in America as well against some of the best in the world, uh, there's a few things that I really took from that. The footwork and movement. Um, the footwork distance, timing and movement is so much different to Muay Thai. Uh, having to use just your hands, it's so much harder to hit someone with just two weapons than it is with eight. Now I know I love Muay Thai and I love the science of fighting with eight limbs, but Having to only fight with two is so restrictive. It was so hard. You have to get so good at your footwork and your timing to be able to land those punches. So to me now coming back, it feels so much better, so much more flow to go with eight weapons instead of two. And I have so much better footwork and timing to use those eight weapons. So um, yeah, that def definitely a big yes in that, yeah. Muay Thai to boxing, why the change? Okay, so back, uh, back then the change to boxing came from uh, I'd, I'd achieved so much in Muay Thai already. Uh, seven world titles by the time I was 23, 24 years old. I was the youngest Australian to ever win uh, a world title at 19 years old. And uh, for me at that time, K1 had just started in Japan. And it was a, a kickboxing only event. And the European fighters that were involved in K1 like, had incredible boxing skills from a good boxing background in Europe. So for me, uh, it was like I started boxing to get my hands good for kickboxing to go fight in the K1. As soon as I started boxing, I had a couple of fights boxing, I sort of fell in love with the fact that I wasn't so good at it. And I, I had this urge, I just needed to be good at boxing now, more so than going back to K1 or going back to Muay Thai. So I actually went, no, you know, I'm gonna stick with boxing and go that route, go that route now. As I'd already sort of experienced a, a sort of journey in Muay Thai so, and kickboxing, yeah. And why change back? Oh, just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I love Muay Thai. I've missed it. I've really missed it over this time uh, doing the boxing. Even though I was enjoyed my journey in boxing, uh, coming back to Muay Thai is just like coming back to you know, my first love sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, to me, I just, I, back where I belong, back where I, where I need to be. Have you found many obstacles in returning to the Muay Thai arena? 
Yes, um, yeah, I've had a few, and um, my, the biggest thing is sore legs, to be honest. Um, after boxing for so long and getting back into Muay Thai, and anyone getting into Muay Thai, starting in Muay Thai or coming back to it can testify to this. Um, yeah, sore, sore damn legs. <laughs> getting kicked in the legs, kicking the bags, kneeing the bags, shin on shin, shin on someone else's knee, kicking someone else's knee or the elbow. Yeah, I've pl plenty of sore legs and plenty of icing up. Yeah, it's probably the biggest obstacle I faced. But um, again, the fact that I'm, I absolutely love it, um, yeah, there's nothing stopping me. Nothing at all. The preacher mentioned you after his last fight. How would you feel about another rematch? Well, there's, another, there's another big match. Um, preacher and myself were one each, uh, one, one win each against each other. So that'd be another great, um, great mega match up for Australian Muay Thai. And um, yeah, I'd never say no to a huge mega, mega match like that. So um, yeah, definitely, that's definitely possible in the works for next year. Yep. Tell us about your mum. <laughs> cool. Yeah, my mum, huge, huge supporter of, of me in, in the Muay Thai and boxing and everything I've been doing. Uh, and she's just an incredible person, really, very creative. I think I've got a lot of, not a lot, I've got all of like, um, you know, being a good person from my mum. She's incredible. She's really, really good. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been doing a bit of promotion for her at the moment too because um, she's been getting out doing art exhibitions and she's an incredible, incredible artist. So her creative talent obviously comes filtered down from her. Um, yeah, incredible artist. She does portraits, landscapes, all sorts of things. And she's, um, yeah, really, really good. So uh, if, I, if I post up something, guys, check it out and make sure you go and check out her stuff. It's incredible, incredible to see. So tell us about this next big fight. Okay, uh, this, is, this is the fight. This is a matchup against John Wayne Parr. It's our trilogy match, uh, so everyone's got to get down there and watch this. It's in Perth at the Herb Graham uh, Recreation Centre in Mirabuka. I think fights will be starting about 7.30pm uh, on that night, on the 14th. So, yeah, I want to see everyone down there supporting this fight. It's, it's a must-see fight. 14th of October. Any shout-outs or thank yous? Yeah, definitely. I've got to give a shout-out to my family. Um, yeah, incredible support, always. Um, and my, my beautiful wife and daughter always just make me happy to come home from training every day. And uh, definitely got to thank the guys, uh, Mark Bowden and Bowden Select, um, being there to sponsor me and look after me in this fight. Uh, and the preparation and the build-up, they've been incredible for me. So such a big advantage to have them come and help me out for this fight. Cannot wait. Daniel, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. We're going to be looking out for you on October the 14th. Yeah, can't wait. Um, thanks, so, thanks so much for the interview. And, man, I'm looking forward to putting on a big show. So I can't wait to see you guys there.